Trump and his team have become explicitly racist in their attacks on Kamala Harris. After Donald Trump's disastrous event in Chicago where he was grilled on his history of racism, he flew straight to Pennsylvania where he held a rally and where he and his team doubled down on the racist remarks in multiple ways. I want to break down Donald Trump's remarks throughout the rally. I want to break down some of the remarks of the people who spoke before him and they were just racist and disgusting. But first, let's break down this billboard that was visible for Trump. Trump supporters while they were waiting for him to speak. So it is a Business Insider article and the title reads, California's Kamala Harris becomes first Indian American US Senator. And it is a picture of VP Harris smiling and what they're implying is that because VP Harris is Indian American, she can't be black American at the same time. It's because Donald Trump and his supporters and the people around him can't hold two ideas in their thick skulls at the same time. So they just resort to straight up racism. This is genuinely birth birtherism 2.0 about 12 years after the original Obama birtherism and keep in mind this is about two or three weeks after Donald Trump was shot and this is two weeks after the RNC where he said he wanted to be unifying but that didn't last long he immediately began the divisive rhetoric again and now he has elevated he has amped up the rhetoric to a different level of racism Alina Haba then spoke before Donald Trump came on stage and she made racist remarks about VP Harris take a look I'm a strong woman, a mom, a lawyer, and an American. And unlike you, Kamala, I know who my roots are, I know where I come from, and I don't play around with the Constitution. You are helping the man who wanted to terminate the rules, laws, and regulations of the Constitution, and VP Harris absolutely knows where she comes from. She's been very, very transparent about her roots, and she's actually used it as a weapon. She's used it to her benefit in multiple ways through her storytelling. Now let's go on to Donald Trump's first statement of the night. His very first statement was taking a shot at VP Harris because he is salty. He is mad. Leave a like on this video if you appreciate what I do, and you're happy that Donald Trump had a terrible, terrible day. We didn't need some entertainer to fill it up. And then she goes on last night. In about six minutes, everyone was leaving. They were pouring out. We don't need that. Donald Trump was referencing a few entertainers at VP Harris's Atlanta rally last night, but these entertainers were popular in Atlanta. They were from Atlanta and they wanted to represent their city. Donald Trump is just incredibly salty that VP Harris has momentum with young people that he doesn't. He has who? Kid Rock by his side? Who the hell cares about Kid Rock? Watch Donald Trump's first glitch of the night. Right after that, one minute into his speech, I'm not going to say he's cognitively declining, but I think he might be cognitively declining. Watch. I shielding them from from the bullets, the bullets of a very disturbed guy. He always thinks he's slick and he's able to save his glitches, but he's not. He's not slick at all. We see that you're losing it, Donald Trump. Here's a clip of Donald Trump angrily attacking VP Harris just a few minutes into his speech, and he is genuinely mad. You can tell. Watch. Kamala is now being given a personality makeover. Don't forget, four weeks ago, she was like considered the worst. Not smart. Terrible, the worst vice president in history. He's the worst president we've ever had. But they were considered terrible. And all of a sudden, she's the new Margaret Thatcher. That happened, right? <laughs> the great Margaret Thatcher. No, I don't think so. But you're gonna, you're gonna learn little things like defund the police. That doesn't work, does it, huh? You're gonna learn. Breaking news, Donald Trump learns how campaigns work once you start giving speeches and spending money and getting out there and using your social media accounts to your benefit. Yeah, people are going to begin to like you and realize that you're more charismatic. It also seems like VP Harris has matured a lot over the past four to eight years. I mean, she has really grown into her role as VP, and I'm sure that interacting with world leaders makes you a lot more charismatic, it helps you understand the situation that you're in. Donald Trump then accuses VP Harris of faking a southern accent and I've seen a lot of attacks from conservatives like this saying that VP Harris is faking her accent just take a look in her speech in Atlanta last night Kamala Harris even tried to outbrand a new southern accent did you hear a new accent if I ever did that all of those people back there look at them look at all those cameras that's 
Oh, when I go through hell, I'd have a week of hell if I ever tried to do that. Keep in mind, one of the main staples of authoritarianism is attacking the media and villainizing the media. Now, Donald Trump has been doing that since before he even ran for office, but now he does it in a more advanced way. So during his rallies, every single rally, he makes sure to point to the media in the back, say something nasty about them, and then leave space for the audience to boo. And that has repercussions. It can be scary to be a journalist at a Trump rally, and after Trump was almost shot, his supporters were were screaming at the journalists, trying to grab their cameras, but I don't want to skim over what Donald Trump also said during that same clip about VP Harris faking her accent. That is a racist stereotype that is being pushed by disgusting people like Matt Walsh. What Donald Trump said is just another version of what Matt Walsh said about VP Harris' speech last night. VP Harris said, we're going to do it again in 2024, and Matt Walsh types a racist version of that. You can read it yourself, and says, Kamala seems to have developed sudden onset urban accent accent, a condition that the last female presidential candidate famously suffered from. And what Matt Walsh is saying is basically exactly what Donald Trump is saying. Donald Trump and Matt Walsh both think that VP Harris is faking an accent to appeal to the black community, but that is not at all what is happening. VP Harris is both a black American and an Indian American, but again, these people are too dumb to have those two ideas in their head at the same time. Donald Trump is also incredibly slurry tonight. Listen to this clip of him trying to attack VP Harris and just slurring his way through it. And I do want to mention, it's really funny to watch Donald Trump and other MAGA Republicans try to find their footing when attacking VP Harris, because their instincts are telling them to be sexist, to be racist, and they can't hide it most of the time. They do launch a lot of racist and sexist attacks, but I can tell that some uh, Republicans are trying to like tiptoe around the race and gender card, which is good. You should attack her policy, but every time they attack her policy, it's the most unhinged stuff ever. But just watch this clip of Donald Trump slurring his way through this speech. Harris. She backs mass amnesty, mass amnesty, and citizenship for all illegals. She supports mandatory gun confiscation. Would anybody mind? And just incredibly terrorists. slurry. Watch this clip of Donald Trump still telling the lie that he had 107,000 people in New Jersey. We're not giving up the outdoor rallies. You know, all those people that we had to turn away today at an outdoor rally, you can have, we had 107,000 people show up in New Jersey. Completely unconfirmed numbers that a lot of the mainstream media just went with because the Trump campaign reported it, but I just want to go back and highlight the absolute racism and sexism of the Trump campaign. If we go back through this entire video, I mean, they had racist billboards. Alina Habba said racist stuff. Even Right Side Broadcasting News Network, or whatever the hell their name is, said racist stuff before the event. Let's watch. All the media was claiming Kamala Harris. The same media, by the way, that claimed that she was once the border czar, which she was now they're saying no we never said that they also said back then and she campaigns on this being the first Indian American senator elected to the Senate Although Pocahontas also oh. had to run for, for Just straight racism. I think I lost brain cells listening to that. Also, the nickname Pocahontas has been normalized by MAGA, but that is also incredibly racist. I don't know how people don't talk about that more, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment a blue heart, and make sure you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.